Smash Brothers that night. Wait, the Wii is region coded? Yeah. You have to buy Japanese Wii to play Japanese Wii. Ah. Oh, I can't play Monster Hunter G Portable. Damn you, Namco. Oh, portable. Portable. Oh, no, not Portable. <laughs> I'm sorry. Monster Hunter G for the Wii. <laughs> Monster Hunter Second G. It's just a port, though. Just play it on this. No, it's not a portable. <laughs> it's not a port. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. There is added areas and there's this wicked sick controller, classic controller that comes with it. Really? Yes. Mm. I thought it was just a port. I, re I really want to play Monster Hunter G Wii. I could never get into Monster Hunter. I like it because it's like a dope Pokemon with Velociraptors. But you don't really catch things. You just... You kill them! Yeah, you and kill them and you get more harm, but like it's really hard for me. Like I tried playing on my PSP. <sighs> we should play. I real I love it, but like seriously, it's too hard for me. Why? The, the you know the first dragon you encounter, the first huge dragon. Yeah. I can't beat that. No way. No. No way. It took no, it took me myself. it took me like two tries. No, 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 I'm not I'm not that kind of person. Like, I don't like like it, it, I could benefit from a lock on system. I oh, you need you need a lock on system. Yeah, because I can't just just. Wait, I thought they had a lock on system. No. Either that or I was real. Oh, I, I, I kept moving the camera. Yeah, there's no lock-on system, like, which is bad, because I can't really hit things unless I'm, like, if I'm looking to the side, uh -huh. I can't hit it, because I have really bad depth perception in video games. Oh. I have better depth perception in video games than in real life. But, like, I can't throw yeah. from basketball. But, um, let me tell you this other story what? that I was going to tell originally. Like, when we got it, my friend John, he realized that Pikachu is the cheapest motherfucker ever. Why? You, you know, right? Because his, you know his down smash? When you press down and yeah. A together. And he spins around with electricity. It hits for like 10 times. And if you block it, your shield's going to be like really small at the end of it. No, I, I think the cheapest character is, um, what's that? Stupid Ike? No, not Ike. It's that one bow arrow guy. Link? No, no. Pit. Huh? Pit. Is it? I think it's Pit. Does it, have, does it have wings? Yeah. Yeah, it's Pit. I hate Pit. No, see, but Pit's nowhere near as cheap as Pikachu. Cause no, what you can't. Pit's worse than. No, he's not. Fox. Pit. No, I can tell you because Pikachu, when he does a down smash, it hits for multiple times. Hits you upward, and what he can do is do thunder, and you still go upward, and he can keep doing thunder until you you're out of the stage. You could die with like zero percent damage. Really? Yeah, and that's what my friend John did. So like we told him not to use it against us because we could never beat him. Mm -hmm. But recently, since I've been well, I haven't been playing a lot of it, but I got better. Mm -hmm. Like I got really better. I got way better like from back then. Yeah. So like I used to want a main Ike, and I realized Ike's not that good. Like people say he's really cheap. He's not that good. He's really slow. So I started meeting Snake. Snake is Snake so cool. Is, Snake's in his own tier, man. But like I mean Snake, I got really good, and no one could beat me at that time, and except for my friend John. So <laughs> recently I was at his house, and I was like, Hey John, you want to play brawl? He's like, all right, so we play some uh, fun matches, you know, like yeah. we be cat and duck in, in some other person. And I'm like, all right, John, you, you're Pikachu versus my snake. It was such a close match, but I beat him down. It was the like, greatest feeling ever. Now, everyone I know, no, like, no, no one I know can beat me. No one. Not, not that I know personally. Wow. Retire as a champ, dude. Retire now before it's too late. I know, right? Like I was like, like uh, yesterday, I was at my friend's, my my friend John's house, mm -hmm. and I said, "Hey John, let's play brawl." Oh, you know what? Never mind, because you might beat me now. I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to take away my own title. <laughs> but yeah, that's the best feeling in the world when you like work for something that hard, wow. for that long. But yeah. Yeah, I've never played a game for that long. In that hard. I've never, like, worked on a game that hard. Well, it's not really work, because, like, most of my friends, mm -hmm. they own Brawl. Oh. So, okay. when I'm there... That's all you do, huh? Like, let's play Brawl for fun. 
And then after that, they're like, I don't want to play anymore. You're too good. But yeah, everybody I know has brawls, so I play them. I play it, it's fun. I don't play it like like to, like those tournament people that play like all super serious. Yeah. I just play for fun. Because it's fun. But. What? What? There's like Zone of the Enders 2 on there. Zone of the Enders. talk about that. Have you ever played it? Yeah, I hate it. Why? It's too hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like the last. I can't beat the last boss. I'm not even at the last boss because it's. <clears throat> I hate the controls so much. Because my friend actually bought it for me. Like he didn't need to do that, but he bought it for me. He's cool. He was like, "Here's now you can just keep it, it's your Christmas present." So and uh, at the time I was borrowing his Devil May Cry Three as well, mm -hmm. which came with his memory card mm. so I was actually using his memory card to save but recently he came over and took back Devil May Cry 3 and he asked for his memory card back so I have mm. to start over <laughs> but that's not the thing though like I would start over it's just I have nowhere to play it but when I was playing it yeah it's really hard it's really hard if you don't know what if you don't know what you're doing but if you start dashing like crazy then it gets easier if you just grab a lot it's easier but yeah that game man it makes me rage a lot. I yeah, I I remember playing that game, got up to the last boss and I I returned the game in frustration. <laughs> I like screw this. I have more fun playing Armored Core to hell with this. Armored Core oh yeah. Like Armored Core for the PS three? Yeah, like How was that? Armored Core four, it's it's okay. Wait, it's, isn't it on the three sixty as well? Yeah. It lags a lot more on the 360. Oh, really? Wait, on, on the 360 or lags more than the 360? On the 360. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. Like, um, but Armored Core 4, um, it's, it's really different from the previous Armored Core titles. It's less, uh, cumbersome. Hmm. The, the Armored Cores, they... Actually, they actually like feel like uh, more agile. They're all, yeah, they they made the game to play uh, faster. faster. It's almost like you're flying around in a really big clunky Gundam. Right. It's it's almost they, they. So they made them less like machines and more like mobile suits. Well, no, they're still like machines. It's just now they they emphasize um, speed more. Mm. Like, oh, okay. I, I, I tuned my Gundam. Gundam? Oh, shoot, I'm sorry. <laughs> I tuned my Armored Core to, uh, to a point where I just, uh, I, I prefer f uh, using a beam sword. Mm -hmm. So I just fly around. I kept boosting like mad, and I just slash everybody up. That sounds fun. It's hard, though. I, I, my win to lose ratio is huh. embarrassing. <laughs> Well, the only armored car I played was on the PS1. Wow. Let me tell you, though, when I had a PS1, I didn't have a memory card. Oh. Enix should not... Square should not have merged with Enix. I know, man. And, like, seriously? Why would they do... Like, why Enix? Why Square? Why both of them? Couldn't it be, like, Square Konami? <laughs> that would actually be kind of fun. Square Konami. To see Square Konami or... But I think it's... Well, I guess it works because they're two RPG giants. Like you'd have like unlockable cloud in Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> That'd be kind of fun. <laughs> yeah. Actually. Cloud in Metal Gear Five. Like, uh, like in Metal Gear Solid Two, when you have the sword playing. Yeah. The Buster Sword. <laughs> that'd be, yeah, that would be really cool. I guess this is it. We're wrapping it all up. Um, uh, I really have, I have no idea how to end this. So, yeah, this this is pretty incoherent. Tune in next time for some more incoherent shit. Yeah, high five podcast. Thanks for listening.